Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week what I want to do is show you how to connect your iOS devices to the WebDAV access that we can set up with Mountain Lion Server. Uh, one of the benefits of running the server is to be able to have your files and documents accessible on your iOS devices and your uh, Macs remotely wherever you're at so you don't have to store those files on those devices uh, you can actually access them from your server and so today what I'm going to show you is how to do it with like I said an iOS device now a couple of uh, places where uh, WebDAV is set up just to refresh your memory if you followed all of my other tutorials you've probably already done this but I want to uh, show you how to do this for those of you that may just be coming to this and haven't seen any of the, of the other tutorials a uh, couple of places last time we talked about the wiki and so one of the places you can enable WebDAV access is here on your wiki so that anything that you put on your wiki site will be available to your iOS device uh, through iWork files okay so those are things like pages and numbers and those kinds of things okay so this is one place you can do that the other place is in file sharing and so if you come into file sharing you've got your various share points here and what you can do is make any of your share points available for WebDAV access which then makes them available to your iOS devices so for instance uh, I've got kids and so I want them to have access to certain school documents that we've got on the server that they may not uh, you know want to carry along with them on their iOS devices but we want to save them on the server I might be concerned they'll delete them we want access on all the computers those kinds of things so we create a folder with that information in there now to make it uh, accessible to your iOS device you just click come down here and click edit SharePoint and what you want to do is make sure that this share with iOS devices WebDAV is checked right here okay as long as that's checked then the, then these folders will show up if that isn't checked then those folders won't be available to your iOS devices okay I'm just gonna click done I'll click cancel because I've already got it set up so those are two of the places that you would set that access up and I wanted to show you that now let's take a look at what it looks like on an iOS device when we want to connect to those various uh, files that we've got sitting in those folders okay here we are uh, over on an iPad mini and so I'm looking at the the screen here and you can see that I've got pages up here in the corner let me just move my cursor out of the way there and so all you need to do to access these files is to go into pages just click it to enter and so here we are on the actual pages screen now if I want to get those files into pages here on my iPad what I would do is just click this plus button up in the corner and you can see there it says copy from WebDAV you can also copy things from iTunes as well um, but uh, WebDAV is what we're after so I want to click that and it brings in up this sign-in screen and so all you need to do on the sign-in screen is to put in your server address your username and your password for the user that you want to uh, have access to it it's that simple and then all you need to do is click sign in and what it's going to do is verify and then it's connecting to my server and here are all of the various folders and things that I have available uh, for WebDAV access on my iOS device and so you can see here's school and if I click that you can see all the different files that they have available you can see the pages files that are there uh, you can see too that I've uh, you know I've got different things in here I've got a presentation file I've got uh, PDF different things like that and so I can have they can access any of these files just by uh, clicking on one, on one of them and having it show up on their uh, on their information here so let me just do that for a second so I can show you I'm gonna click on uh, one of these files and you can see that it's now importing this particular file right now into pages and it's added it to my pages now it says Mac documents may look different on your iOS device they're just kinda warning you uh, just in case some formatting issues occur but you can see now that this particular uh, item is up here now in pages and I've been able to add it so let me show you another thing let me just click the plus again copy from WebDAV and it's going to connect back up to that same server and you can see down here at the bottom of the list we've got wikis which is uh, our information that we've put up on our wiki site uh, for those of you that have watched uh, my series of tutorials you, I talked to you about how to set up a wiki and add files and those kinds of things and so the files and things that we add on the wiki 
should be available here. And so let me just show this to you real quick. I'm going to click Wikis and you can see there's my vacation photos wiki that I had set up and showed you in the other screencast. If I just click that, it's going to show me all of the different files that I have available. Now, I don't have any pages documents available or Word documents, so it knows automatically that I can't access those with this program. But you can see I've got two files there that are grayed out uh, that are two files that I've actually put on my wiki site. Uh, just to show you that real quick so you get an idea for it, uh, if I come in here to uh, documents, okay, and I look at my documents here, uh, the different documents I've got, these documents here are underneath vacation photos, which is the wiki I have it on. These two here are the only one that are really accessible because these are basically blog entries that I've put in, and so blog entries won't show up to your external things, but these things will. It's very important to understand that you need to put those documents into a wiki for those things to show up on your iOS device. So if you have documents that you've uploaded, uh, for instance, if you go Let's go home for a second, and then let's actually let's go home up here. Let's go to uh, my documents. So any documents that you've got in here, you need to move under the wiki if you want them to show up. And you would simply click them here. Uh, these aren't going to really move, uh, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, yeah, I guess I could. I could say move to wiki. Okay, so I can move that particular post over to the wiki, and when I do that, then those things will be available for uh, my web dev access, if that makes sense. So, just wanted to show you how that looks on the wiki, so you have that available when you're looking at this uh, particular setup for the wiki. All right, so what I want to show you is uh, I want to show you what this looks like uh, on a program that can read things like PDFs. And the first thing up here is a PDF. The second thing is a JPEG. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is let me pull out of this for a minute. I'm going to take you into a program called PDF Pen, which basically reads uh, PDFs and those kind of documents. Again, it has a similar look to it as Pages, but I just want to show you that you can pull up various documents from your uh, web dev server from different places. So here again, I would click on WebDAV right here, and then uh, I've already logged in my credentials on here. That's why it's already showing. Normally, you would have to log in just like I showed you on Pages. But let's come to Wikis down here, and there's my Vacation Photos folder. And look, I've got the Stacks uh, zip there, and I've got a PDF of the Crater Lake thing. And if I just click one of these, what it's going to do is now import that into PDF Pen, and there is my document. There's that photo that I had up on my uh, wiki, and it's available now for me to do whatever I want with it within this particular program. And so you can see that uh, having the web dev thing set up on your server is very powerful because it allows you, again, to have access to these files and folders in your various programs within your iOS device, and it makes it very easy for you uh, to access those things. So that's all I have for this week on uh, getting WebDAV documents into your iOS devices. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.